All right, so uh, perhaps we, we could uh, start the, the, the webinar, if it's fine for you. Mm -hmm. right. So I'll quickly just uh, show my screen to, to show the agenda and just uh, go over a quick overview. Just one second, please. All right. So, are you able to to see the screen? Yes. Yes. All right. So we'll just we will start the the webinar on the public private uh, partnership in implementing NBS. So, uh, me and the Trim, uh, me from SPI and Trim from MIT, uh, will be um, the, the moderators during the the webinar, and uh, it will be followed by a presentation from Isabel Sanchez from the municipality of Valladolid. Isabel, she is a, an architect specialized um, in sustainable architecture and uh, energy efficiency, and with a huge background on um, different architect architectural um, studios in Italy, Ireland, and Spain. And she'll be hosting a presentation on public organization fostering the public partnership in the NBS. Um, it will be followed by a presentation by I know about this from Light Up. Um, I know she is a principal researcher uh, in Light Up, whose work is uh, mainly focused on the development of nature-based solutions related to wastewater and rainwater treatments. And uh, the, the main topic will be formulating and implementing public-private partnership for an NBS project, with the, uh, specifically on the example of the electro wetland demonstration that was. Uh, implemented in Valladolid. And then we will have Patricia Briega from uh, Singular Green. She's also an architect uh, who is in charge of European projects and innovation area uh, at uh, Singular Green. And the main topic will be the public private partnership agreement in the commercial building. Uh, the example of the green facade from the, the Walcott English um, shopping center in uh, Valladolid. And at the end, we'll have a, a small discussion um, time, and we'll take some some brief con conclusion. So, um, Isabel, if you want to carry on, um, I think you you'll be able to to show your screen, correct? Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so good morning, everybody, and thank you, Yao, for and Tri for um, giving me the opportunity to to talk to you about our experience in partnerships uh, with um, public and, and private sector. Um, so now I'm going to to explain uh, our um, our experience in in different um, collaborations with the private sector regarding the implementation of nature-based solutions. Um, okay, this is um, <clears throat> the different uh, parts that I will I will show you. Uh, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of the public and private collaboration. Uh, then I I would like to show you different examples of of this collaboration uh, of the Valladolid City Council, the green facade that we have developed uh, under the frame of the Urban Green Up project, the electro wetland. This is another intervention of this project. Uh, I want to talk a little bit also about another collaboration with the private sector for the development of a urban water buffer in our city, and also um, a new local ordinance to uh, improve and to promote the collaboration and the innovation in our city uh, for the private sector. Uh, finally, uh, some lessons learned. Um, um, okay, that's all. <clears throat> 
Um, okay, uh, the benefits of public and private collaboration uh, are, are a lot. Uh, first of all, all, all of us, will, uh, we know all the benefits provided by the nature-based solutions. We have social, environmental, and economic and cultural benefits. So for the city, it's very important to promote this kind of projects, this kind of uh, nature-based uh, solutions. Uh, but uh, sometimes, uh, by only the, sorry, the city council, we have different problems to, um, to promote this kind of projects because sometimes these projects are very in, uh, innovative and um, the city council and the administrations, um, we have a very um, important criteria of cost effectiveness. So sometimes innovations is not uh, the best cost effectiveness um, uh, option. So uh, we have to, to deal with this, uh, this problem and this challenge. Um, also, municipalities, uh, they have a, a lack of expertise. Uh, we, don't, we don't have uh, a lot of times people experts in these innovative systems. And of course, um, the money. Uh, we don't have sometimes a lot of money to to implement these these nature-based solutions. So it's important the collaboration with the private sector in order to to solve these these problems and and the challenge. Um, for the private sector, uh, the collaboration with uh, the public sector in this. Um, promotion of nature-based solutions or, and also sustainable projects. Um, it's uh, interest, interesting because uh, they can test their technology in an in urban context. Uh, they can enhance the appearance, the corporate social responsibility. Um, it's very important for the for the companies to show that they are um, they, they they want to promote these uh, sustainable um, aspects of the of the of the projects and um, and, and yes they can also uh, have financial benefits, for, uh, for example, uh, tax exceptions, and uh, um, it's very uh, important and very interesting for the for the companies. They have uh, also to know that they are some risks because the administrative uh, procedures are very slow. Um, and sometimes the um, political de decisions may change, so these are the main risks for the private sector. <clears throat> so, uh, in order to, <clears throat> to to have a, a good collaboration without problems, it's important to to develop different tools different agreements uh, and to have everything um, clear uh, to, to go forward these, these collaborations. They are different types of private and public collaboration. Uh, for example, uh, the municipalities can, uh, con can uh, contract uh, different companies through public procurement procedures. Here, in order to, to innovate, um, it's very important uh, that it's not only the cost. Uh, we have to, to include different criteria for the decision. For example, um, innovative criteria, sustainable criteria, 
um, and it's something that we have to change because at the moment um, is the, the we are always focused in the cost effectiveness so it's important to include this uh, innovative uh, criteria we can also collaborate with private sector through a European project for example the urban green map project uh, we are different uh, municipalities different companies different uh, technical center so uh, this is uh, really nice because uh, we are um, multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary uh, teams and we have also the the financial for the European Commission. And uh, there are also other private and public collaboration. And here I want to show you different examples. The first of all is the, um, the collaboration with El Corte Inglés. El Corte Inglés is a big company in Spain. Mm, they have a lot of uh, commercial buildings. And, and it's a very important uh, company. And uh, here in this in this project, um, uh, okay, we, we have to to implement a green facade in a in a building in the city center. So uh, the Valladolid City Council was looking for different buildings in the city center available to to implement this facade. Uh, it's not easy because um, in in buildings you have windows uh, and and sometimes you don't have a surface to implement this this kind of, of facade. And uh, this commercial building was really good for for these uh, solutions. So we talk with the with the company. And uh, the cost of the of this green facade was uh, very high, and uh, the city council didn't have enough money. So at the end, uh, we seen an agreement with El Corte Inglés. Um, we designed the the project, and each part paid a, a different part in order to to build this this facade. Uh, Patricia from Singular Green, she will explain later more details of these technical issues and the collaboration, but uh, I want only to, to say now that the um, uh, agreement with the El Corte Inglés uh, was uh, really necessary in order, in order to establish the different roles of each part. And uh, at the end, um, we, um, at Court Inglés and Singular Green and Biology City Council, we did the, the project, we did the construction works, and um, we, um, 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 sorry, El Court Inglés uh, have now to, to maintain and operate the facade. Um, and this is now the, the role of, of El Corte Inglés in this um, duration of, the, of this uh, agreement. The duration of the agreement is four years, so during these four years, they have to maintain this, this green facade. And this is a really nice uh, collaboration. Uh, and here, uh, El Corte Inglés has different benefits. For example, um, this facade is one of the places uh, that more, um, sorry, uh, with, with, uh, tourists go to this building to make pictures. So this is really nice for the publicity and marketing strategy of El Corte Inglés. And also they have the benefits of energy savings sorry, because of the screen facade. Other collaboration is with LATAC. Um, in, this, in this project, in the urban grid project, they have to build this electro wetland, and this is very innovative, and they wanted to build 
in an urban place. So we signed also an agreement um, and also I know I later will explain more details about, about this. Another interesting collaboration with the private sector is uh, this project, is the Urban Water Buffer Project. Uh, Field, fa Field Factors is a consultancy firm from Holland and uh, they were working in a, were participating in a 2020 Horizon project regarding um, water management uh, process and <clears throat> they contact with the Biodiversity Council because uh, they wanted to replicate a, a project, this project in our, our city. They built a water management system for the Sparta Stadium in Rotterdam in Holland and they uh, used the rain, rainwater for the irrigation of the stadium thanks to a natural treatment plant. So they offer us to replicate this solution in the stadium, in the football stadium of Valladolid, and we are now um, uh, uh, developing this this project. We want here the collaboration of the um, football club of Valladolid, the uh, Real Valladolid Football Club. We want to involve them in this project uh, because uh, the idea is. Um, they can use this rainwater for the irrigation of the of the stadium. They can solve a lot of money because they they can solve a lot of water, and uh, this is very good for the um, for the um, uh, uh, appearance uh, to to show that this this football club is green, and. Um, uh, for this, they have to maintain this, this system. So now we are in uh, developing this collaboration and we are talking with all these stakeholders involved in this, in this project. The idea is to implement uh, innovative circular solutions for the collection, storage and reuse of rainwater in this in this area in this old parking area and also taking the rain water of the of the um, <clears throat> cover of the stadium um, <clears throat> and uh, another very interesting collaboration with the private sector uh, is related the european uh, mission the 100 km natural and the smart cities mission. Valladolid is one of these 100 cities selected to become um, neutral via, before uh, 2030. So in order to achieve this goal, uh, we are uh, developing different strategies uh, to facilitate this climate neutrality through innovation. So the most interesting here for you is this ordinance, the, the Valladolid Demonstrative City, uh, because it's very important to have a legal framework in, in order to promote these innovative uh, solutions also nature-based solutions in, in our city. So uh, uh, this is to promote the innovations for the companies and also for the startups in our city. And we offer services and properties as a real scenario to prove and to test innovation projects. Uh, this ordinance will come into force at the beginning of the next year. And it's important that the companies and the startups, uh, they have to, um, to have a project uh, that have passed an initial phase 
of development. And, and, and we offer the, the properties of the Biology City Council to test in an urban context. The, sec the sectors for these projects are different. Um, okay, it's, it's for projects about mobility, energy and energy transition, logistics, and also for renaturing the, the, the city. Um, uh, the procedure is simple. Uh, the companies have to submit a, a request, a request, and the, the different uh, areas of in, involved in the in the city council have to to check, have to study, have to evaluate this project, and um, if if, every, if if everything is okay, uh, the projects can go go on. <clears throat> and uh, this is very innovative because um, okay we, we don't have these tools so we have to to develop these tools in order to have uh, different instruments to achieve all these challenges regarding um, climate neutral and uh, finally um, I want to to, to talk about the lessons learned. Um, it's very important for the uh, municipalities, the, um, the administrative procedures, uh, to have instruments in order to, to, to promote this, this innovative and these new sol solutions for, for our cities, because the administrative uh, the administrative procedures are really slow now, and this is a really big barrier uh, that we have to, to deal every day. Uh, cost effectiveness versus innovation. This is also very important because when we have to, to, to ask for money and we have to explain uh, here to our colleagues of the financial area Okay, yes, this is not the, co the best cost eff effectiveness solutions, but it's very important for the innovation because we have to prove our city has to be one of the innovative cities. So this is very, very important and very difficult. Um, it's very important also to have into account the maintenance and operational cost of nature-based solutions, to have money and to have people to do these works. And uh, regarding the agreements, it's very important to define the roles, the responsibilities of each part. Everything could happen, so uh, we have to have in mind different scenarios with different uh, alternatives in order to have everything clear. And uh, for our experience in, in our city, we have to say that uh, it's very interesting the public and private uh, collaboration because everybody can learn, everybody can earn, and, and that's all that I wanted to, to talk to you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Isabel. Um, I think if you if you all agree, uh, we will carry on with the presentations and perhaps leave the questions and answers for the final part. However, I would like to say uh, thank you so much, Isabel, for all the, your very complete presentation. And uh, there were some very key issues that you uh, point particularly um, the, the, the part of the, the cost effectiveness. Uh, I find it, it must be quite hard as a municipality to manage all those things. Um, but yes, it was very good. Thank you so much. So Thank uh, you. we'll carry on now uh, with a um, singular, sorry, uh, just one second. Well, I just lost my... <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just lost my agenda. And I, but it was supposed to now to be um, singular green, correct? Uh, I think it was Ainoa first. I was Ainoa, sorry. sorry. 
I, I just lost my edge. I, don't know. I think I, I, I raised it. I don't know how. Okay, so I know a place. Um, you have your presentation and you are able to, to share it, correct? Yes, okay. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, so please carry on. Uh, I can't hear you, I know. You probably muted. Uh, okay, thank you. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was muted. Um, I don't know if you can uh, see my screen now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. I will start then. Uh, good morning, and thank you, John Trin, uh, for giving uh, Leita the opportunity uh, to explain our experience in, pri in public private partnership in the urban green act context. So I will try to summarize a little bit because um, uh, Isabel also uh, explained some, some things about the, the benefits um, and constraints of, of this kind of participation. But I, I will focus on, on our uh, experience with the electro wetland that we conducted in, in Valladolid uh, as a front runner city in, in the urban green app um, project. So, First, I will start uh, explaining um, the process of conce conceiving the NBS uh, system in, in our facilities and then how to uh, the planification and the execution in, in the, in, of the, the, this NBS at, in Valladolid in the demo site. Then all the planning of implementation and also the, how, how to maintain, how to control after the, the execution, it's an important point that also, also Isabel uh, mentioned. Uh, all the roles and responsibility from each part, and finally the lessons learned, all the advice and the experience and good practices that we could give you in for future actions. So, first of all, <laughs> let me explain what what's uh, an electro wetland. The electro wetland is a bioelectrogenic. Uh, constructed wetland. In other words, uh, it would be uh, the, the, the joining of, of microbial electrochemical technologies and, and the biofilter used in, in, in common or artificial wetlands, constructed wetlands. Um, the combination of these uh, two technologies uh, can increase the purification uh, rate 10 times um, a conventional one. So for us, it's a very promising uh, technology, and and also in in that project we had the opportunity to implement in a in a city. So for us, it was a, a, a perfect uh, opportunity to to test this this technology, this novel technology. Uh, in this scheme that I'm showing you, uh, you can see well mainly um, we have an inlet. Um, and an outlet that is surrounded by coarse uh, gravel, but the rest of, of the system is, is made um, by sandy gravel, well, uh, sandy gravel bed that, that is filled with water. And then we have uh, two electrodes in, you can see it in black. It's like a normal battery. You have an anode and a cathode. So, um, the electrogenic bacteria um, are the responsible to 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 um, to export the electrons while they are eating the organic carbon. So it's 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 a reaction. They 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 clean water. The they they eat that dissolved organic carbon from wastewater, and then they they can um, export uh, the electrons that can move uh, through this electroactive substrate. And then, um, due to the different uh, potential, uh, it's a, a redox potential can can travel from 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 one electrode to the other. So it generates electricity. It acts like a battery. This electricity is quite low, <laughs> but at least it it can um, it, it it permits to to keep uh, to have a. a to, to have a, a, an, a, a device to to record all, all the, the also the electricity or the water flow so at least uh, it, it can work by itself that's what we wanted to test in Valladolid and for the moment we have uh, good good results mm -hmm. of that so uh, from the very beginning <laughs> this is not a, a commercial solution so 
it's like a Taylor Swift. We had to test all the technology in our facilities in Leidat. First, uh, you have several pixels. The, 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 the first one is, is what we tested in the laboratory. laboratory. And uh, with a membrane, with ele electrodes, in, in a very, very small uh, scale, we had to, to choose the materials for the elect uh, electrodes. So it was really um, a, a lab uh, scale. Then we, we also uh, um, built a, a pilot in our facilities. We, we also chose uh, the substrate, um, the, the electrodes, and, and all the all the things that could be useful for operational um, issues in the future. So here you can see how we were just putting everything inside and, and how it ended this this pilot in in our facilities. From all the records we took during the experiments, we 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 were able to to perform a report that we, we sent to the uh, Valladolid City Council to set up uh, all the, um, the basis of, of, uh, of our requirements in, in order to, to, to build the constructed the, the electro wetland in Valladolid. So the first thing was selecting uh, the implementation site. With all those results in the, in the report, we were able to, to sit down with the Valladolid City Council and say, okay, we need to to your help to choose a proper site. For instance, we we need um, this uh, carrying capacity because it it has we have demands it uh, with a, a certain weight. We have to we need to have access to wastewater to feed the the electro wetland with uh, that that flow rate. Then also we need. Um, it was not a, a manhole to 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 treat the water somehow before entering the, the electro wetland. Uh, also, we need some some solar irradiation for the plants because they 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 need to perform in the best uh, conditions uh, possible. It also had to be inside a urban zone, access to the electrical network, and so on. So. As you can see, we, we, we went to the uh, Valladolid City Council with some requirements. The, then we, they uh, studied uh, a demo site. We selected one and, well, of course, the first uh, constraint was selecting the proper one. Maybe the first one was not mm, the best option, then we, we choose another one. We had to um, uh, reconsider some some of the the, um, uh, the the initial design of of the electro wetland. We rebuilt some 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 arrangements. Then we also find another another issues with the uh, implementation side. But as 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 I said, we we finally succeed. Although those modifications. And we could uh, execute the the buildings in 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 Valladolid in the in a, a really nice place. Uh, it, we could um, finish all the building stuff in 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 summer to uh, 2021. So we've been recording um, all the electric signal and on all, also the purification uh, um, of of water during one year for. Uh, and we, hopefully we will have a second a second year to, to achieve the two years of, of uh, NBS control. And for the moment, uh, it's working uh, as we expected with a high, really high um, purification uh, rate. The, the KPIs that we are uh, recording are, are really are really interesting. And um, of course, <laughs> to arrive uh, to that point, it's important a good planning uh, of the implementation, but not before the execution, also after the execution. Okay. And for example, uh, as Isabel said, it's very uh, important to have an agreement and define very uh, in, in, in very detail the task and duties for each partner. For, for instance, not also the, the execution, but also the, uh, after that, the control of that infrastructure. 
uh, all the cleaning, uh, monthly cleanings and maintenance. It's important to, to determine uh, who is going to do that. Then also the control of, of the performance um, um, from, from Valladolid. Um, they are taking samples of, of water uh, uh, quality. We then, uh, they send us the, the water samples, the, the water results, sorry. And we analyze how is performing the, the, the electro wetland. But also we, we also record the electric uh, signal to, to know the production of, of electricity. And we integrate those parameters to, to, to have the KPI we need for the, for the project, but also to, to see how, how the electro wetland is, is performing. Uh, we also have to, to make um, periodic controls uh, to, and we, we visit the infrastructure uh, at least once a year to see if everything is okay. And also um, it's important to, the, to define the, the promotion of that infrastructure. We made uh, an effort to, to implement that, that um, electro wetland in Valladolid and also for the, from the, the point of view of, of, of LATAD, it's important to, to promote it and, and not also from the point of view of, the, of, Valen, uh, of, of Valladolid City Council, but also from our uh, point of view, it's, it's very interesting to promote it and, and to, to have a demo case in a, in a city. Um, so for us, it's, it's very important. And also, um, uh, from, from the very beginning, it's important to define the fate of that infrastructure because um, after the, that project ends, uh, we, we, needed, we, we would like to, to, have a, to continue um, um, recording all the, all the results of the performance of the electro wetland, also have the opportunity to, to use that demonstration, uh, demonstrator in other projects. So, it's it's important to define. In that case, we will uh, make a session to the to, uh, to the to the Valladolid City Council. But still, we we want to to collaborate in in a, in a near near future with new projects. So this is important to 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 talk about it uh, from the very beginning in a, in an agreement. And I think that if everything is clear, then it's very easy to execute and and uh, have all the parts uh, happy and, and working in, in good conditions. So finally, the lessons learned from, from implementing the, the, the electro wetland in, in those public-private uh, partnership is, first of all, for us, as I said, it's a good opportunity to achieve more visibility. It's a demonstrator that we, it was for us, very very interesting to implement in a city. Uh, we want to use it in, 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 we would like to use it in, in new projects. So for us, it's a good opportunity to continue collaborating with with uh, Valladolid. Uh, for us, it represented also an ambitious uh, project. So for a company, it's it's a, a good opportunity to go further. Uh, in that case, for instance, it's not our case because we are a technology center and not, we are not a, a, a private company properly. But in some cases, it's a good opportunity for some uh, companies to, to find new applications, new markets. So it's, it's, I think those are some of the benefits that I, I could find from, from collaborating with, with uh, public um, uh, institutions. But yes, of course, it's 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 a good opportunity for 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 all. I think it's a win-win. For the if we had to find a, a constraint or a barrier, it's what Isabel already said. Uh, the procedures of the administration sometimes are, are quite slow. All the steps ha uh, have to be signed in, in plenary sessions in the city council. So it's sometimes uh, difficult to work with, but in uh, any case, if, if there is a good planification, you set up a wide uh, execution timing and there is a good communication. Of course, it's very, very important to find a good interlocutor 
a constant one <laughs> during all the project, but at least uh, some 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 someone who can take care of of everything related to the public uh, institution, and another one that is uh, taking care of uh, all the company uh, staff. Then, if there is a good communication, I think everything uh, flows and, and it's, uh, there's no problem. And of course, as I said before, define all the tasks and duties of each part from the very beginning. And I think um, it, it, it allows a, a good execution of the project and, and a good relationship between all the parts. And uh, I don't know if... Um, uh, I hope Isabel has also the same the same uh, feeling as as I have, but yes, this is more or less what I wanted to explain to you from from late back. It was a, a great uh, experience from our part, and I hope uh, it will be he helpful for all of you. And and that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Ainoa. It was also a very complete presentation with both the, the technical parts, but also the more intangible ones and the, the need for communication and the organization and everything. Uh, thank you so much. I don't know uh, if anyone wants to add anything and uh, perhaps we should carry on with uh, Patricia. Is it okay? Yeah. I, okay. I, can, so, I can share my, my screen. I, I got the presentation. Oh, you, you are able? Okay, great, great. Yeah, so right. I will, you see my, my, can you yes. see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the, the green facade, as you have seen before with Isabel, that uh, the, the difference, we, we have uh, done many implementations for Urban Green Up. And the difference with this project is that we participate also with the technical team of El Corte Inglés. So, uh, as, as Ainoa has mentioned, one very important thing in this collaboration is to have clear the duty of each one. And in this case, uh, the limit was uh, the technical team of El Corte Inglés has done the, the club camp clamping structure, the supporting structure for the for the vertical garden and the indoor works inside the building. And after this limit, we do we do the the, the project for the vertical garden and the, the the city council did the tendering and Tierra Ingeniería was the company awarded with the works for the for the vertical garden. So, as Isabel has mentioned, uh, they were looking for places in the city center able to install nature-based solutions, and the the shopping center of the Port Inglés uh, was a very good, a very good location and quite big, big enough. And we have the idea to work in one of the corners of the building. And uh, el, uh, the city council uh, start to talk with the court inglés. And they agree that the, it was a good idea to renew the, the look of the shopping center. So it was a win-win uh, agreement. El Corte Inglés will, will get a, a new new look uh, for the facade and the, they will help in the implementation in the cost for the vertical garden. Uh, so, the next slide. Uh, the technical team of uh, El Corte Inglés uh, start did a, a first uh, design for the, the corner, for one facade and the other. And they, they even did uh, a, a photo montage uh, with, the, with their, their idea of the design. And based on that, 
with our knowledge, we we say we have to make some modifications to get uh, the the water to conduct the water in a better way. So I want to show you that the design was a collaborative process. No, not only we did a design and we we install it and and finish it. All the both teams has to talk and collaborate on the design. So finally, the the technical team of Record Inglés uh, did the calculations uh, and the the structure the structure design for the the structure support of the vertical garden. And uh, uh, with these conditions, we did our our design, our uh, uh, structure, our internal structure design for us. And also the we we designed the water collection for the irrigation system. And another point uh, in the in the process of the design is that um, for the vertical gardens we we cannot use uh, the plants uh, very big very grown we have to use plants in a small size so we usually uh, buy the plants for a nursery that is special specialized in, in vertical gardens and it was a quite big uh, vertical garden. It was almost 400 square meters. So we had um, uh, available some different uh, species, and we have to make a design for for these colors and and the the plants. And we did uh, three different designs because the the courting less team wanted to see the design and, and approve it or not. So with the plants that we have available, we did these three designs and they choose uh, one of them. That is the, the one that uh, finally uh, was going to be implemented. And uh, here I want to show you some some photos of the implementation. Uh, this is this is the works that the El Cortingles did, the technical team of El Cortingles did. This is the structural, the structure that was going to receive the vertical garden. And they also the logo of El Cortingles, it was it was here in the vertical garden, so they have to move it during the, the construction. And they also have to do these these small plates to receive our our uh, panels. Here is the the panels. Oh, this is it was our duty. The the panels installed and the the collecting system for the for the watering. And here you can see the the final the final image. This is a photo we did with uh, our drone. And that's that's all. I I have been very <laughs> sure. It was brief, but it was very good. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> um, actually, I found it very interesting because sometimes when you see some some uh, some project you just see the final part but to see the structure being filled with uh, over time was very interesting and uh, well hopefully we'll be able to see it on the Valladolid um, final meeting or uh, pre-final meeting and uh, I'm looking forward to it um, so I think now we can carry on for the questions and answers part um, Pablo from SBI has already shared uh, in the, the chat um, a link to uh, the, our Mentimeter account 
for, for a small presentation with a, a few questions. Um, the idea is to have those questions and generate further discussion um, uh, through that. Uh, but before that, I don't know if anyone wants to add anything, perhaps um, any any comments or we can just carry on. If you want to leave any comments right now. No? So just carry on. Pablo, if you, then I'll just ask you please to, to share your, your screen, okay? Uh, we are unable to, to hear you, Pablo. Is it just me or can you can you he's, hear Pablo? He's mute. I think he's mute. I cannot hear Pablo as well. Me? Uh, I think we can hear you now. Not? Yes. Yes. Can no, you? Yes. Yeah, okay. No. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Wasn't well, sorry to change something here. Okay. Uh, well, I already uh, shared with you a, a link of the Mentimeter and the code for the start the, the for the start. But uh, I don't know if I could uh, share my screen. I think I need the past. I think I could. If you can share, can give permission to Pablo, please. Okay, now I will to change my screen. Please tell me when you have my screen. Okay, now we can we can see it. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Will to start. Yes, I will to start the presentation. So. When so a second, just a second. It's a little, little bit. Okay. So the, the idea is just to, for for uh, the participants to just give their answers, and uh, we'll just give a half a minute, I'll say, and then we'll carry on. Okay. 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 Please, well. Uh, I think that we already shared the link in the chat, please, if you could to start. Uh, we have the first question here. The idea is to start, uh, what is the type of institution that we work in the attendance? So please vote and, and show you <laughs> where you're from. Uh, Joao, please, I don't know if you can to explain uh, a little more about this. Sure, um, well, this is just to have a small idea of the, the to make sort of a connection with the questions that will be uh, followed, because uh, just to have an idea whether we are dealing with a private sector or a public sector, this was a very interesting thing that was mentioned during all the, the presentations is defining each one's, each one's role and uh, each, each one's role will, vary, uh, will be dependent whether they are uh, public or from the public or the private sector. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I just took, I, I will to explain that we div I divided the in different situations because the idea is not just well here we are based in private or public, but I make a differentiation between foundation because normally the public have different things with the foundation or even in the private sector for this reason divided in four points this ONG private public or foundation this was the reason for to have four four options. So perhaps we can carry on, no problem, with the, the second yeah. question. Yes, I think that all the all are already voting. So, uh, <laughs> well, for the start, I think that we are more people here from the private sector. <laughs> it's a little clear. Okay, the second question, the second cell. Okay, well, one second. Okay. Uh, well, the second question is, have you ever been part of the public or private partnership experience where, where nature-based solutions have been implemented? I think that we have a, we will take a little moment for, for all vote. Well, it's 50-50 now. <laughs> yes, it's 50-50. Very strange this. Well, <laughs> but it's better for the next for the next part because we have a we hope, because I did now we talk about this. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know if all the people here voted. I think that yes, for continues. Uh, yes, I think you, you can carry on, Pablo. Okay. Uh, now is the it it changes the the, the percentage. <laughs> Please carry on again. Yes, one one second because it's a little it's a little slow. Okay. Give me one second. I don't. Okay, one. Okay. okay yes. Uh, well, in the case of people that the answer was yes, please share your experience. In this part, we idea is what we talk between us, but the same way, if you could to write your 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 answer, I think that will be good better because this way we could to collect all this information. But please, you all uh, uh, yes. motivate the conversation. <laughs> Um, sorry, just because I think I was just uh, looking here for uh, Waco just told me that there are some questions on the on the platform, but I I'm sorry I can't see them. Oh no, um, I have to say I'm sorry, Hamadi, uh, because I I didn't see your answer. Uh, sorry, your question. I think th this was probably to Ainoa. About the source of the water on the presentation. Um, I apologize, I, I didn't see it coming. Um, well, I don't know if you want to give the to carry on with this question uh, now, or perhaps leave it to the end. Um, perhaps we, we should leave it to the end, if you don't mind, uh, because we are already here on the Metimeter questions. And uh, uh, if you don't mind, Hamadi will, will carry out. We'll, we'll carry it with, uh, at the end, okay? Okay. Well, we have some some answers now, but let's continue, Joe. Uh, just um, just to reflect on uh, on this. So, uh, for for those who have answered yes, um, the, the idea with the, this multimeter question was just to generate some questions, some um, some debate on this. So. The, the, this answer was mainly targeting on using their land or buildings and with them taking on maintenance costs and the cost of the capital. So uh, this is this is one of the this is one of the the kind of partnerships that can occur during a public-private uh, partnership. So in this case, it was the, the both the land or the buildings part that were uh, were provided. Um, and also the, the part of the maintenance costs. So this is one of the, the kind of uh, uh, partnerships that uh, can, we can have. Uh, we've, all, we've already seen with these three uh, presentations, Valadali, Plata, and Singular Green. Um, it, it's very important, it was, it was mentioned, and I mentioned it again, the, the importance of defining the roles, and each one will have a, a role, and depending on the kind of partnership the role will be different obviously so uh, this is a kind of, uh, of a partnership in this case a, a public private one yes uh, i don't know if anyone wants to add anything or oh, sorry it's appearing other questions yes we have other questions oh, we have other, other answers. answers yeah i think you can um come back for the electroland implementation valladolid Yes, I think you can go up and down, Paulo, please. Okay. Vertical garden in school, all right. So, Sorry, um, but I, I, I can't use the Menti better. I can't write. I don't know. Uh, you have to access Maybe. to the, the, this, the, this, this website, uh, www.menti.com, and then you have to insert yes. the, the code 5544-38. Uh, two, three, as in uh, as it is on the on Pablo's screen. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Well, um, even I, I don't know. It, it yes, I'm, I'm there. I'm I'm okay. I'm in, but okay. Okay, don't. Okay, I, I, I can't like, uh, answer. Sorry. Okay, but I I think that is a good idea if I copy the link again and share with you in the chat or not. Sure, sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, already share in the chat, please. Uh, and this is the code for, for access to the presentation. 
Uh, Joao, please tell me. Uh, please just uh, go up um, on the answers part. Uh, I think there was one that we skipped uh, uh, before that. Mainly part. Okay. Electroland, again, please. Perhaps I, I just uh, didn't see it correctly. Right. Um, and go down now. I think that's all. Go down, please. Okay. One second. It's a little slow. Sure. Mm -hmm. I am waiting. Okay. <laughs> sure, and here sure. we have, yes, and here we have the other options for the people that uh, shows it no uh, or not participated in this public private instance in, to the NBS topic. Please, if you could share with us your, your, uh, your answer will be very good for us. I'm willing to start um, to talk about this and else. Again, the idea here is to, for those who didn't say no, who said no, uh, to just the, reflect on, on the reason why. Uh, I think one thing that we, 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 we can uh, reflect on is some municipalities will have a more, uh, uh, I would say, uh, will to, to carry on with uh, nature-based solutions, and uh, some don't. I think one thing that was mentioned i think it was by isabel was the the thing the the question about bringing a, a innovative um, uh, innovation in it all itself to 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 a municipality and uh, to have new structures and then cope with the, the the difficulties of having to justify to the finance finance sector it's not an easy thing, and uh, some, and particularly on on this case of uh, solutions, you have to 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 cope with the uh, with quite a some big challenges, particularly the the financial one. Yes. Well, I think that we received an answer uh, that would be because they say the private sector want to municipality to pay. I don't know if sure. there are other presentation about this. I think that is a good option, a good moment for for it show your experience or or talk more about this for the rest of the public. Yes, if anyone wants to to add anything uh, besides writing, please go ahead, and uh, we won't bite. I promise you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Obviously, um, I think the, this is a, a key issue. Uh, the private sector wants the the, the, the public want to to carry on with the the interventions, and I think that's why that's the reason why public private partnerships are essential because uh, it's a way of constructing a let's say a, a better future um, with the the, the compromise of both parts and uh, I think that's essential in, the, in this particular case so I, I think perhaps we should carry on Pablo okay <coughs> I, I imagine that uh, many of the, the attendees also have more perhaps more technical questions and those we will leave that to the end uh, there was already that one, mm -hmm. I think it was particularly uh, directed to Ainoa about the, the electro wetland. We'll talk about that later. So now, uh, have you ever had any experience regarding public private partnerships outside the NBS, the NBS topic? So now we want to reflect more on any kind of experience, not just nature-based solutions. And uh, the, the idea with this is mainly to reflect uh so if you were able to have a public private par partnership in uh, let's say a, a structure uh, construction then perhaps we can use that uh, kind of uh, partnerships to also implement uh, a nature-based solution intervention well already okay we already have one one answer yes another urban infrastructure development 
Uh, Joel, this is the last uh, slide of the presentation. I think that could to uh, stop of presenting for to open the, the divide and the conversation between us. And sure, I, sure. I don't know what happened. Yes, I think that. I think we can leave just one more minute if anyone is still right. Yes, and then for... we can we can carry on with uh, those those questions. Nice. Yes. So the answer here. Okay, wait. Right. So what what is interesting is they are also uh, uh, related to the climate change uh, um, combat. So it's not a nature-based solution per se, but we also have other options and other uh, um, other projects. So meaning that this is possible. So which is great. <laughs> Yes, but because follow the same line, but in, in, in other contexts and else, so. Exactly. Yes, we have often partnered on other projects and on developing policies, etc. Mm. I'm going to the last. No. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> very short. <laughs> So, uh, do we still have uh, more answers, Pablo? I don't have any other answer. We are no. stuck here, so. Okay, perhaps you, you, you can stop sharing the screen and uh, perhaps I'll, I'll direct the, the word to Ainoa, because I think this question um, was directed to you. So, it was something that related, we don't see the source of the water. Um, I think it was something about the, the electric, uh, electrical wetland. Uh, I think it was about the, the source. Uh, sorry, I stopped to screen my share. Uh, the share my screen. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Let's continue okay. with. Yes. Um, I, I I couldn't see the the question. You mean uh, the source of of water that fed the the electrical wetland? Um, we use, well, the, the question was made uh, by Hamadi, 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 I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Hamadi Kalawi. Uh, perhaps if you would just uh, at the court. Yeah, I can explain. Oh, at the court. Oh, I was at the court. Okay, so I'll cut English, perhaps. You, you mean uh, I can see the the question, but I can explain that the the water that was feeding the electro wetland it came directly from the waste uh, from the sewage system. So it was it was um, a black water was waste water and with a high um, dissolved organic uh, carbon con content. So so it was. Uh, Cleaned by the the electro uh, the electro wetland, and it, I think it decreased more or less the 80 percent of 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 the nitrogen concentration. At least that's how our KPIs work. So the action of the biofilter and the electrogenic bacteria perform quite well. So I don't know if it answers the question, but it was because wastewater. It says okay. Uh, by the way, now I'm curious, I don't know if Patricia, you can answer to this, but also in the electro, uh, El Corte Inglés, in the, in the, 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 the green facade, how uh, was the, the, the water, how was it uh, watered, the, the, the plant, the, the garden? Uh, the water in system, uh, yeah, the, the, water, uh, the water counter <laughs> was for El Corte Inglés, it's paid by El Corte Inglés. And right. there is something I didn't say. Uh, the, the garden has a re recirculation system. The, mm. the water comes and uh, the water of the garden and the water is collected and goes to a deposit and is uh, what is used again to water the plants. So uh, we, we can achieve a very good a consumption rate for this for this garden. All right, great, thank you. Um, does anyone have any questions or any topics to reflect on? 
<coughs> I don't know if anyone wants to, to add something. I was uh, reflecting on some, I mean, I think all the presentations were very complete and they focused on uh, very important issues. Um, <coughs> actually, I would like to ask Isabel um, how hard it can be to 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 try to get the the interest from the the private uh, sector uh, when it comes to to have their involvement on the projects like this. Um, this is more of a generic question. It can be related also to non MDS related uh, uh, partnerships. Just uh, I was just wondering about this. Uh, okay, this is a really good question. <laughs> yes, um, it's complicated to 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 convince a private sector uh, when they have to pay. It's a, a very important point, and uh, the process are really long, um, and uh, you have to start in a high level. Uh, with um, I don't know how to explain with um, politic people and uh, high boss of the companies uh, to convince the, the the benefits for for them regarding uh, climate change, but also regarding uh, uh, the social corporate uh, responsibility of of the companies and and, and yes, yeah, sometimes the the uh, we have to, to start for, for a technical uh, level, but uh, you have to, to go high, in a high level, in, in order to, to, to convince the people uh, who make the, the important decisions. And, and yes, it's, it's really, really slow. For example, for now this project, the uh, uh, urban water buffer, um, it's take a loan a long time and I don't know maybe we are for for years uh, sometimes the, the project is seems to to go to go in uh, good but after there are some decisions that we stop and it's, it's it's very complicated and you have to be very patient and, and that's all okay well, thank you Isabel uh, in the meantime we've received other questions so this is from Jim I guess uh, saying how much energy does the electro wet one typically produce and if this if could this be fed into the uh, electricity uh, grid uh, so this is to I know what please I think if, if you uh, instead of me repeating it you can see on the on the question on the panel on the right side on the questions yeah. one. Okay. I know I, I can see it, but anyway, okay. uh, I, it's 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 very funny because in uh, during in in six months of recording the the electricity generation, we we had more or less the equivalent of thirty battery. You know the small batteries we use in 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 our electrical devices. It was more or less equivalent. So we we cannot work uh, adding electricity to the network. So just to keep some some uh, um, measuring uh, devices, and that's it. Okay. Another question from from Jim. Um, I apologize because the, the the questions sometimes they pop up. <laughs> I have to say that I don't see them all together. Um, so this one is is to the to Isabel. Uh, asking if uh, does the municipality of Valladolid offer any financial incentives to encourage the private sector to implement NBS? No, at at the moment we don't. For re related na nature-based solutions, I um, no maybe I, I I'm not sure maybe in in other areas of biodiversity council they they do but uh, I think uh, no. Okay, great. Um, so I think all the questions have been answered. Uh, so. 
I don't see it appearing so well in my screen, but correct me if I'm wrong, Oiko, but I think all the questions have been answered correct. Yes, yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so I think that's all. Uh, please go ahead if you want to add anything. Uh, it's your last moment, last opportunity. Otherwise, we will just uh, end it. And uh, thank you all so much for for all your participants and um, all your work, uh, particularly to Isabel, I know I am Patricia. Um, well, we'll see you soon and uh, have a great day. Thank you so much. Okay, okay thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye.